guys, Forceware Studios here, back with more Spellweaver at Kiss and Frosty. You know, one of these days I will just make a trip and say Frosty and Atkiss again, and that's going to become one norm. Day. One day. So we have the final three secret cards before the release. Ooh, what are they? What are they? We got... I need to know! Now! Arrow Barrage is our common. Three mana, one level, order. You choose front line or support line, and the enemy hero distributes four damage among creatures he or she controls on that line. That's a common. Yeah, it's, it's rather decent. It allows it's pretty, it's, order to finally interact with the back line. Like, if you have a golem factory, you can actually kill them finally. It's a Because they, ha <laughs> they, they can't just distribute four damage on one creature. It can only go up to the toughness before they have to pick something else. So it's pretty decent. It allows you to kill, hmm. kill angels, so there's that. It's pretty decent for a common, so. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. And it only costs one level. And our uncommon is kind of similar to it. It's three mana, two wisdom levels, snowstorm. The enemy hero distributes X damage among creatures he or she controls where X is the number of creatures. Freeze all creatures dealt damage this way. I, I, I like it. Yeah. They have a bunch of two twos, then they're all frozen or he kills a few off. One off. One if off. If he only well, has two creatures. I guess if it's two, yeah. Or he deals one to both. But yeah, like if they have a you know, large army, especially like goblins, which just have one toughness, so it's kind of hard to distribute to them. It, it does seem like, right now, it does seem like it would be extremely great against uh, rage, especially. Uh, maybe even nature has definite, definite uses. Uh, a few in corruption. Um, maybe not so much in dominion. Maybe a few that I can think of off the top of my head, but still, I mean, I think this card can have a lot of uses. And if you follow it up with Advanced Darius, who can just deal one damage to the board, they kind of have really tough decisions. Ooh. Or a Fire or, Blast. Yeah, that's what I was going for. Yeah, follow this up with something that can damage multiple creatures. It's a sure way to get value. And the last card is an epic. It's Bezerok, Abyss Gatekeeper. It's five mana. Four levels. Dang, Three of which expensive. are Corruption. Holy so crap. First one of its type. It's a legendary 4-3. And you choose one when he enters. So, as he enters the, he the field, the enemy hero sacrifices creatures with a combined level of at least three. At least three. Which is like three so soldiers. So can you choose or... more if you want? Yeah, you can. In testing, we learned that <laughs> at least three means you can just sack the whole board if you want. Or at least up to nine creatures, which I had. <laughs> <laughs> for fun yeah you just you're free to, you, it has to be at least three but there's no maximum you can do whatever you want because it's probably not going to be an advantage to you probably not and the other option is when he dies you summon demons with a combined level of three onto the field this actually creates tokens it's not like pulling from your hand or the library or anything like that it produces tokens of those creatures so you don't even need to have them in the deck like, he can just bring out a succubus when he dies, and you have zero succubuses in your 60. Dang. So it's kind of a really interesting card. <coughs> well, I mean, I can kind of see why he costs so much, but it, he costs a lot. Well, I mean, he tops off the demon curve, right? I so get, when Dark I guess, Portal's yeah. on four, like, if, you don't, if you're not oh, just getting yeah, succubuses, yeah, I, I he suppose. can, you know, play him out, and then he'll be four mana, because he'll be one cheaper. Dark portal, maybe for playing the ability to potentially make them sack what would be their blockers. Yeah. Helps you push the last bit of damage through. So I think he has a home, despite being so expensive. So for the decks, so couldn't really combine them all together. We have three decks again: soldier's deck with arrow, a demon <coughs> deck with bedrock, and a temple wisdom list with snowstorm. So we'll start with the common. He uses Alexa, summons militia, rather decent. Pretty standard. This is like the really old soldiers list. Redone. New with arrows. So we got three Tetralites. Four Steel Host Spearmen. Four Dwarf Spellbreaker. Two Pacifies for those hard to deal with threats. Three Guards Guards. Three Heavy Infantry. Three Arrow Barrage. Fancy new card. Three Knight Recruiter. Brings along a friend. Cavalry Field Captain. 
Elite Vanguard, because he's an excellent soldier. 3-3 three, three is pretty decent. Master Tactician, which makes playing all the soldiers worthwhile. Blood Seeking Mutant, because we're splashing the minion. A bunch of Order Shrines, some Soldiers Memorial for free plus one plus one counters every turn once our creatures start dying. And Stronghold Metropolis to sell our soldiers to slavery so we can draw cards. Dark. Yeah, I mean, when you're the Battle Maiden, you gotta do what wins the war. Dark. So we'll see how it goes in game one. Game one is against Shadow Souls. It's a better name than that, Kiss. It sounds pretty badass. Don't it give does. me that look. Shadow Souls. Why don't you talk like that more often? Dang. It's not bad. Kind of hurts your throat after a while, though. Yeah. Do we keep this? Uh, it eh, we'll keep this. Looks keepable. Is what I was about to say. Yeah, like it's got three two drops and it's got three drop. We'll just spam the board. Do it up. Rage level and nothing to follow it up. Hopefully that means this is not an aggro list. We're gonna go for a single white past the turn. We got another dwarf spellbreaker. That's crazy. I mean, I don't know if that's the card I'd really want three of, but it's a card. It is a card. It stops burning rage. There's that. I mean, next turn you can even put out two. Good. If you want. Um. Why? Why not? Actually. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. There you go. You thought you dealt with it. Yeah, you but thought brother you... showed up. Brothers. You know, the three dwarves, three musketeers. There are triplets. Wow. Really? <laughs> oh, wow. We got the fourth. <laughs> that, that's, yeah, that's what I was wowing. <laughs> and we can just easily deal with all of these. Holy crap. That was crazy. Yeah, if you're planning on a burning rage, that's kind of going to hurt the plan. Just a bit. I do miss the 2 1 range that it replaced, but I'll accept it. Aww. Fast ass dragon. I think it's just a worm. I don't think it's a dragon. A worm's like a dragon. It's a spirit. I'm wrong. Of a dragon. Of a, a serpent. A worm. Of a serpent. Uh, what don't we like here? Elite Vanguard. Night Recruiter. He's kind of soft to fireballs, and we don't get anything. Uh, you don't want to bring out the uh, Forgotten Brother? I could, but I'm going to Guards Guards instead. But the Forgotten Brother! What if he has another Serpent, you know? Forgotten Brother! Well, see, he'll he'll kill these ones and then he'll avenge the death. Fair enough. Gods! Gods! So, we can put a counter on this old dude. Noise. Noise. And beats. Because why not? Because we can. He might have a fireball, but... We'll take a fireball. Eh, that kind of sucked, but not the end of the world. Come on, air volley. Fire blast. Fire blast. No, we want we want him to play two Gibbo and Ronnie, and then we want to draw an arrow. Fire <laughs> blast. Yeah. It, ooh. Race the board. Fire storm. What do we got? It's nothing exciting. The Forgotten Brother finally makes his play. Exactly, see? There we go. Fireball. Dang. Aw, oh, Disciple of Zash. Come on. Soldier Memorial, that's not really what we wanted. Every single time you think 
you know, he dealt with something, you just bring it back onto the field. Exactly. Not from graveyard, but just it comes back. Extra copies. Fireball. Win it. And no luck. he dealt with your card again. Funny enough. Died the same way. Three damage. Ooh. We discarded a dragon fire for that. That's not bad. It's pretty worth it. Divine offering. Memorial. No luck. Well, there's an arrow barrage, but we don't really have a target for that. What are you talking about? You have a disciple. We can get around his disciple of Zash by putting the one on counter on before combat. Then we can play some targets for it. Weak. That also gets around him blocking and dealing one damage to the Weak. Militia. Okay, never mind. It was maybe worth it. He must be desperate if he used that on... Uh... I mean, I guess he is at 8 life. That is true. So... There's what I've been looking for. Bloodseeking Mutant. Blech. Just got a card at random. So Beat much one. burning. Yeah, we got our card draw finally. We just need some creatures with it now. Uh, you'll be able to that get... Is not... That'd get us a 1-1, one -one, so that's not very exciting. Yeah. You have enough life to get through by for a turn or two, probably. Probably. There's a massive assault. You're gonna have to pick that up, though. <laughs> We can't put a Might Emblem on one of his creatures for him. So sad. Don't think typically you want to do that anyways. Let's put one on the spell weaver. The bottom of the deck. Do we sack to draw a card? You kind of need the cards. You need answers. That's and good. guards, guards is good. We're going to play it now. Oh, really? Eh, just in case. Fair enough. Ain't the three speed doesn't really matter. I guess, I guess it wouldn't. Unless he plays a dragon. Well, he plays a dragon. We're kind of in a whole lot of other trouble. I guess. Because Arrow Barrage does <clears throat> not kill a dragon. Hmm. I suppose it does not. Wow. Leaves him with a 3-4. Attacks quite heavily. I mean, you... However, that's not really the land we want. Oh, that hurts. We can... Frontline. Arrow Four Barrage. Damage. Four damage. Four your, damage. <laughs> your range means nothing against... Our range. Our barrage of arrows. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> what? That, that was, was the that animation? Was the barrage? A single arrow. A loppy <laughs> arrow. I mean, it killed the 3 4, but damn. That Ooh. was awesome. Uh, there's parts of the. So, here's that. There's the burning rage. He's gotta be starting to run out of. Well, the Burning Rage is going to start drawing cards. I know, but for the time being, anyways, he's got to start, stop. Ugh. Two four horse. Have at ye. And you got a touch of light, which... Might help. Could potentially help. But he's got four levels, eight cards. I'm dragon worried fire. about a dragon fire. Hey, guess what? He's using a dragon fire. He got a fire. dragon fire. Not on us, though. Oh, there's a dragon. And you're hooped. Can you do anything? Can we dig it? We can kill one of these. Should have given it a touch of life for fun. No, maybe, just maybe he'll eat it if we attack into it. 
I mean, we'll still lose, probably. We need to draw pretty good to survive. That's not good enough. No, but you can draw again. That... Deals with his front line. Yeah. Maybe we'll get two arrows this time. <laughs> Come on, two arrows. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. You know what? This game was totally worth it just, for, just for seeing that. Ah. <sighs> just for seeing that. It'd have been sweet to see four hours on a Gibbo and Ronnie pair, but <laughs> can't have it all. There's Dragon. Dragon fire! Or beats. What could it be? Death. By Dragon. Boom. I mean, if you want to go out, oh, that's how you go. So, deck and second deck we're going to try out is Temple Wisdom List. We're running Darius Stormborn instead of regular Darius because his ability plus Snowstorm is excellent. So, we got four charged all right. Four Force Wielder. Two Eleanor Spellweaver Depth. Ah, uh, yeah. Secret card from last week, and not too many targets in this deck, but enough worthwhile targets. Four Unstable Reactor. Pump up all our energy. Four Flash Freezes to finish off small things and trade up. Two Angel Wisdoms for some card draw. Four Foundry Engineer to make the backbone of the deck. Two Gnome Power Engineer for threats. And sometimes to just kill our own golems to move them into force fields. Three Force Mage Protector. Four Library Guards. Three more Flash Freezes, basically. Yeah, three more Super Flash Freezes. Su yes, Super Flash Freezes. Three Force Fields. And two Dust Titans, since we're going up to three levels. With two thematic libraries and a bunch of wisdom shrines. Nice. So we'll see how this goes in game two. Game two against Tyram. We got a snowstorm. That's pretty good. I don't know why, but whenever you say something like that, it just sounds racist. Why well, don't you say it? <laughs> Haram. Haram. It just it sounds racist when you say it. I don't know why. Maybe I'm the racist, I don't know, but... I think that's the case. <laughs> so this isn't a very good hand, so we're going to draw again. I'm of a different ethnicity than you, therefore not racist. I'm not white. All right, yeah, if you're white, you're automatically racist. Wait, I, I am white. Goes. I'm all white. Well, you're a snowman, <laughs> you're not a human. You're just speciesist. Oh god, I am! I'm awful. Yeah, you really are. I'm everything that I didn't want to be. Reactor. Yes! It's got a few things. Quite a few things. Touch the light on that. It's gonna hurt a bit. Life gain! It'd be a shame if a snowstorm were to blow through. Wouldn't it? It kinda would, yeah. It's too bad you don't have a snow. Oh wait, you have you are on the draw. Rather turn two. Yes, you were close, but yes, no cigar. Yes, snowstorm. So probably not not the most optimal play, but we'll take it. Probably not. Probably going to go three damage into the defender and one into the militiaman. Maybe that's what I'm thinking. Or the most ideal scenario will be one at each creature. Yes. Six. But you might seconds. put like two and two, which will be fine. Yeah, that would do it too. Because have a flash freeze that'll finish that off. Not this turn, but. What happens if they don't choose everything? Yeah, he did take the decision. Okay. I thought he would. It was the most optimal decision. Keep everything alive for. Because now while. we can play this unstable reactor and give it energy this turn. And then have everything blow up! Did you not attack? No. Sweet. Lucky! And everything blow up! Boom! Except for Force Mage because for because shield. Protector! Shield, barrier, protect the surrounding. 
Solved all the problems. Hooray. That was a pretty solid play. It was. Like, that was the optimal... I was expecting a bit more damage, but... Yeah, but... I mean, that was an optimal... Very optimal scenario. That just happened Here's a force for uh, Snowstorm. E. Now we got a force field up. His 2-3 is meaningless to our 2-2 two -two now. I mean, they won't kill each other. We'll, they'll just not die. Ever. Well, I mean, they'll probably die eventually. Ever. I don't know what happens to the cards when someone wins the game. They, they must cease to exist and die. But is that the same as dying? They're just kind of not existing anymore. Dude, that's pretty deep. That 1-1 one, one is very threatening when we reduce damage by 1. <laughs> no attacks that time either. Let's go for draw 2. And then flash freeze two times! Don't probably think not. we need three force fields? Probably not. Probably not. Flash freeze! Aw, uh, I was really hoping that there was going to be another flash freeze. It would have been funny. Let's go for another force mage. Yeah! Ain't nothing wrong with that. This way, leaving a flash freeze up if he tries to attack. Two order levels for a knight escort. He can't kill our tutus either. Oh, you gotta pay a lot of money for that, especially with those escort services. Especially when they show up in full plate mail with a horse. It can get pretty pricey, not gonna lie. I find the leaving two mana up to be rather suspicious. Nah. Seriously, one of the flash freezes? I hope you yeah. draw another flash There's freeze. There's a snowstorm here. We don't need that many. You need a flash freeze, a flash freeze, and a super flash freeze. How about we go for another snowstorm? Yeah, right. This is going to be totally worth it. This is going to be totally worth it. This is going to be totally worth it. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of pretty hard to put points in at this point. Two two twos. They can't die to your creatures. I mean, it's kind of risky for him. Puts it all into him, eh? We're gonna shirt his death. Flash freeze! Flash freeze! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I was gonna shield that, but I don't need to shield him. Because they take one less damage. Yeah! Energy! It's got a shield. I've been charged again. That's crazy, dude. Crazy. The so Snowstorm like so far has been very good. That's an angel. And I'm sure there's many more uses aside from like a mono blue deck as well. I'm sure you can work it in in other decks. I don't know how yet. So what do we do here? But I know you can. Obviously this. Obviously. I think we go for another force field. Draw a card. Yeah, another force field? Dang. One of these guys. Ooh, snap. Well, the other force field prevents the 3-4 angel from threatening my tutus. Gotcha. They're mucho unthreatening. Aww. Does deal with it. Saving his 1-1. One, one. Hmm. Interesting. I can't wait to for the new set, just so I see what other cards can interact with uh, Elnor. Eleanor? Yeah. yeah. It just I, I really like that. She's already pretty decent. Yeah, and I, I, I kind of like the channeling the whole channeling aspect of it. I'm sure there'll be plenty of new spells for that. New auras for the other channeler that we've seen so far. Like, even the secret cards that we've just seen so far, in my opinion, have been... What else can shamans get? It's gotta be a few more. They just yep. got added to green. Okay, you go ahead and do that. Force field makes that. It's worthless. 
charged all right. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh. nothing. I don't really want to. Let's play another force mage. Let's fill this filler up. <laughs> I mean, why not? You can still do it, so. As we can go on the front line. He doesn't have enough things to attack into him to kill them both. I mean, if you can get some creatures out, then you are just going to start rolling. We just need a golem baby maker, and we're good. Pretty much. Ooh, and he blessing. blessing on the angel. I don't know how that interacts with Snowstorm. Hmm. Because he's choosing. Yeah. And it can't be chosen as a target, so maybe he can't just choose it and he has to choose something else. <laughs> maybe we'll draw the third one and we can figure we'll, out. We'll have to test that later. Like, we'll. that might be very relevant, actually. Oh, that hurt. Ugh. Dang. Ugh. Did you get Wait, a little? No. Did you get a little heartburn? Just a bit. A force mage protector. Wow! Again. That sucks. You need to stop, man. Just, just stop. Like, just stop. No. Double divine off. You know what? Hurts. You know what? Just just let your reactor just, just let two reactors go off. I mean not quite. We couldn't well I guess we could. You can pump energy into it. Uh let's see. One That I could. I kinda I want Eleanor to get a flash freeze back though. Or the snowstorm. And then, you know, let her reactor of this go off you know I, I i do but i don't know man just be so worth it so that's three damage or in other words one we got 50 more turns to find an out here <laughs> okay yo, that is so strong just i that's unbelievable we put one point into that and put all of the points into that. <laughs> You're gonna shield all of it? I mean, let's yeah, shield I'm... these two. Because we have we have the mana to do that. Wow. So, unstable reactor, it's time for you to go. What? There we no! go. No! It's about time you get it. And Eleanor, Snowstorm goes on top. Seriously, though, it's about time you drew a damn shrine. Just a bit. And... We pass for another turn. Next turn, we can snowstorm and hopefully four mana into this, four mana into that. Preferably this. Got another militia. Don't forget to use your force mage protector. Ah, uh, no. Guess you don't need a scrub to remind you. Nah. What's it gonna be? Whoa, fanfare! Holy crap! You can get a bit of damage in, so that's not gonna kill that. That's not gonna kill that. Not gonna kill that. Not gonna kill that. That's not gonna do anything. It's gonna do zero damage. That's gonna, gonna do, do zero, zero damage. damage. That's gonna get him one life. Ooh. Okay, so yeah, this isn't dying. This got a shield, so he ain't dying. This got a shield, so that ain't dying. Wait, so. I don't think she has a shield. No, this isn't dying. This has a shield. Oh, yeah, that one has shield. Oh, it did have shield. I didn't I didn't see the little mark. All right, we have two force fields, so I wasn't, didn't need to be worried about any of them. Not really. So let's put this three man. That damage, that damage looked like it hurt, though. Just a bit. <gasps> nice. How did we... That's so convenient. It's almost like... You and I'll just knew. use that mana I spent last turn to cast it. <laughs> Dude, this this crazy like snow storm. I'm really digging how this is working out. So thanks to this, he could potentially save one or two creatures. I mean, I guess he could put it all on the two twos, but unlikely. That's well. Hold if on. You, one, he, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight damage he needs to distribute among his creatures. Yes. Into his toughness areas. 
And oh, Looks like that. damn! Guess what? Thunderstorm. Thunderstruck. And where's the, here's the resign? Is the resign coming up? Where's the <laughs> We're gonna I'm, kill I'm, that. I'm looking the for the resign. Thing. No resign. No, no, no. Gonna play it out. Looks like they're it's gonna get You're played gonna lose out. That to a force wielder. Doesn't that's not something that happens very often. No, I can't say. I can't say watching a force wielder kill a tutu happens very often. <laughs> Good way to eat the whole board, Snowstorm. I'm really liking how Snowstorm is uh, playing out. Yeah, it's been working out beautifully. Dead. Whittle them down. We're one way there. We're halfway there. Whoa! I don't think those force fields are dying anytime soon. Living on a prayer. I just, I, I couldn't help it. You just had to do it? I just, yeah, it kept going on in my head and it wouldn't stop until I actually set it out right. I know how that goes. So, that's not too helpful. Nope. I mean, really, neither... Well, no, I take that back. I won't say neither is that Elnor that's in your hand, but you could get value out of it. By Maybe the pacifier. I mean, probably not, but you never know. Man, that's a lot of levels of manas in the opponent's hand. Just a bit. The force field's not going away for a while. It's going to be sticking around for a little bit. That, that is for sure. Still haven't seen a golem. Oh, golem maker. Oh, there we go. Speak of the devil. Sweet. You can finally start doing things. So. Hmm. Well, first, let's attack. He can block something, it's not gonna, it's just gonna reduce damage. But more importantly, it's going to take damage, because I think this is blowing up this time. If I've done my maths. Because we can put four mana. And three mana. Um. And hey look, here's an army. What did that really accomplish, though? It pushes this up to six. Right. It'll blow up. It'll blow up. It does nothing to our field, because we have... We oh. can reduce damage oh. by two. Oh! Oh! Yeah. It did nothing that, to that, us. That... That... Oh! Yeah, the damage reduction works that way. Right! <laughs> it hurts. I was kind of wondering, like, what the hell are you doing? Are you just <laughs> toying with him now? But... No. Dang! It hurts. We just got all the damage. You've got all the damage you want. So, stun lock you've got creatures. stun lock. You've got kill that. You've got everything that. you would want. Kill that. You've totally kill got that. this game. Like, there's zero doubt in my mind. Like, yeah, I don't think there's much you can do to crawl back from this. If your opponent can come back from this somehow, then you know what? Kudos to him. You suck and you should give up on this game and uninstall. If he wins? If he wins. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That'd be, that'd be pretty tilt. That... I, I would make you just uninstall and we'd cancel our new newly formed partnership with Spellweaver. Just, we're done. <gasps> this can kill our force fields. Huh. <gasps> so can that. Ah. Uh, I mean, I think it's a little, a little too late. A little late. Hey, <laughs> Snowstorm. Doesn't really do anything. Put this back here. We can pour mana, energy into this. Oh man, that is 
devastating. Oh, that is scary. That is a field. It is a field. Ooh. That is intimidating. Beats. Also, I loved how the field just moved there. <laughs> it's kind of trippy. And that is game. G G. Woo! Victor A. Thanks to snowstorms, really. Snowstorm, looking really strong as a you know first showing. Especially when Eleanor returns it. Dang. Crazy. So our last deck is our Bezerok deck. It's pretty close to the standard demons list. Got Enoch, because he gives us a bit of life and pumps damage. Nightbringers, they're demons. They cost zero if you have a gate. Fun times. Nox Fumes. Word of Pain, because we're trying to go up all the way to Bezerok. Zoom Spirit, excellent removal and damage. Infernal Vultures, so we don't mill ourselves out. And Yeah, he's got a few uses. Dark Portal, cornerstone of the deck. Summons demons, pay, we pay life. Fun stuff. Infected Survivor, good to block. Mesmerizing Spirit, make some discard. Blood Witch Harpy is a demon and clears the board. Infernal Tribute, clear the board. Succubus drains life. And Bezrock does a lot of things. He can clear the board or he can make other demons. And then Haunted Cemetery and Sanctum of the Void. So let's we'll see how the last game goes. Our last game is against level 88. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure, okay. Level Final Fantasy, there we go. Yeah, we'll keep this. We I got don't Noxious know. Fumes and we got some Infected Survivors and we're against Elves. I don't know, I kind of like level 8, 88. <laughs> now, you didn't put enough delay in it. Sorry. Dominion. 3 1. Elves. Green, purple, elves. Dead. But it was an aristocrat. Well, he didn't have his help, so he died. It was a shame. He shall be missed. He wasn't an aristocrat. I doubt he'd be overly missed. That's true. Friend of Walters, we don't need. Friend of Walters, not very good against bounce. Can't put any counters into him. I mean, can just going to it's going to get balanced. negated. Brother in arms. Ooh, it's pretty decent damage output. Not bad. We'll take it. But why? Because I'm going to kill it next turn. Hmm. Also going to kill the brother in arms. Nice. That's a strong infected survivor. Yeah, he... No wonder he's still surviving. Exactly. It's just all of a sudden he's jacked. Okay, that... He looks, he that, looks all spindly. That's like a tank in the making. <laughs> exactly, like he kind of looks like it and then he just... He just eats someone and then he's good. Nightbringer! Ooh, a dark portal already. I think we're just gonna go for Blood Witch Harpy. Probably the right choice, but got the dark portal pretty oh, early. I did on. have a tornado outbreak. That's okay. Yeah, we're pretty fine with that. We can just play it next turn with the dark portal. Exactly. The cornerstone of the deck. I mean, he can kill our one one, but he he did his work. He killed three things. He actually he did do quite a bit actually. Block. You know what the best part about it is, is though? He still has value because even though he finally dies. Now he's just a regular zombie. Too bad. Bezerok. Oh, yeah. He didn't become a tank. One day. So, Dark Portal. Mana. Blood Witch Harpy. Two beats. Now that's a turn. Oh, yeah, assassinate now. 
Yeah, that's K. That sucks, but you still have dark portals, so... I'm not too scared, honestly. I mean, he is an aggro deck, so... Well, you also have the succubus to try and stay in it. Exactly. Can't Two really succubus. Succubi. Like, you can get five damage in here. Dang. Or kill three. Good Nightbringer. He's all free. I don't need this dark portal. Nope. Corruption Shrine. Succubus. Need to stay in it for the long run. And an infected survivor that can block. Next turn, if we get a shrine, Bezerok. You mean when you get a shrine? It's pretty much an F. That kind of sucks. Eh. Just divine offering away succubus, I suppose. I'm assuming you put succubus on top. I think. <laughs> well. I think I may have clicked on autopilot there. Ah. You're, you're well, making me second guess myself. Well. You, okay. I don't. Okay. You know what? I think we're gonna take that. Right. Probably For some reason, I completely way. forgot about that. Actually, I I don't know why. And Bezerok, sacrifice creatures totaling levels of three. Dang. We well, get at least two creatures here. It's pretty decent. And we'll mill a bunch, because why not? What do we mill from them? We got that. That's good. I really don't know what the other cards were. Is there two landslides in here? <gasps> there is! Wow. Two beats. Kind of hurts. Kind of hurts. Survive. No biggie though. Wanna know why? Because you can lay down the hurt with those succubi. <laughs> Five beats. Mill some more. I've seen a brother in arms and a bunch of shrines. Hoo wee. And blood recharge. In case of emergency, please use Succubus Ward of Pain. Ah, yeah. He has to win this turn. And he can't give any haste. And he can't give. Got him. Yep. Victory! Not bad. Bezerak is a lot. And it was a lot quicker than the last game, that's for sure. But the last game was pretty sick. It really was. So, that's the new cards. Man, all, all three of them I feel like had quite a bit of value. I can't, I can't wait for the entire everything to drop because... It'll be very fun. It will be like a brand new game again. And it really will. Should be interesting. So, see you all next time. With a bunch of new cards. Bye!